Hello everyone, and welcome, well, this is going to be the start of Subnautica. Now, I decided to just start playing this game partially because I was kind of bored, and Sonic Frontiers comes out in, let's see, well technically, um, less than, it comes out in roughly two days and less than 15 hours. So I decided... I might as well give Semnautica a try for a little, for a while, or a little while today. So we'll see how far we can get. I don't know if this is going to become a series. I don't know if this is going to become, like, an occasional on and off episodic series. Like, you know, I play one week and then a couple weeks later I play again. I don't, I don't know if it's going to be like that. I don't know what's, I don't know what's going to happen. But we will see how much enjoyment I can get out of diving into the one place I've never wanted to go in real life. Into the deep blue. Oh. I, ha I have also pre-ordered um, Sonic Frontiers. Subnautica. So, um, I remember when I saw 8-Bit Ryan playing this series, or maybe it was Markiplier, and there was like 75 fucking episodes of this. And I was like, oh my god. And then there was, um, I don't know if it was DLC or if it was like a, a spin-off game, but it was Subnautica Below Zero. But... I definitely look forward to seeing what's going to be happening here. So let us begin. How do I... How do, how do I start? Seriously, how do I start? Um, I, I'm being serious. How do I... I'm pressing X, triangle, circle, square. Do I have to fucking... That's not it. Nice to see that the... Press options. That was weird for for a for a bit it wouldn't fucking Okay. So let's check out the options. Color grading. Oh. Ooh. Do I want off, neutral, or filmic? Eh, we'll go with off. Oh, okay, right analog stick to control that. The last, so the last build was in December of 2020. Oh my god. Okay, so let's see what we got here. We have survival. Crash land on a dangerous alien planet. Scavenge resources and manage hunger and thirst to survive. Freedom. Like survival, but without hunger or thirst. Hardcore. Survival mode with only one one life. No O2 alerts. Creative. Build anything with no constraints. Oxygen, food, pressure, story, and death disabled. Hmm. 
Do I want to go survival or freedom? I mean, survival, hunger, and thirst. Hmm. So, I can, so, okay, I can go between survival and freedom. Survival... It definitely would be kind of interesting to try to manage hunger and thirst, but if there was a situation where I was going to die and there was not any food or water nearby, that probably would not be the best for me. Maybe at most it would like slowly drain my health until I died and I would have a couple extra moments like try to desperately find something to eat. But the thing is, I don't know what happens when I die. Do I lose all my items? Do they just do, do do they get put in a box? Do they do they, do they float about? I don't I don't know. So if I have something precious and I lose it, that'd probably make for a very frustrating moment. But addressing this, I would know I would know what I was getting into if I chose survival. Free uh, freedom would feel easier, but you know. It probably wouldn't feel as, um, it probably wouldn't feel as, you know, realistic and dangerous as survival. I mean, Subnautica, I've, I've crash landed. I have to survive. It's not like I've just been sent out on a mission. God, what, what? I'm sorry. I'm trying to like decide what it is I want to do. Do I want to? Ah, uh, you know what? I'll go with survival. I'll go with survival. We'll just we'll just see what happens. So, gonna be crash landing, huh? I also wanted to get below zero, but I decided, you know what, I haven't even touched the base game ever since I got it, so whatever. There we go. Press any button to continue. Boop. Attention. No Unknown Worlds Entertainment and Panic Button present. I think all my friends just died. All uh, my friends are- oh god. Okay, that's not where I thought this was going at all.
Pick up the fire extinguisher. Pick up the fire extinguisher. Hey, that's literally what it says. I just instinctively pressed the shoulder button. Booting in emergency mode. Alright. You have suffered minor head trauma. This is considered an optimal outcome. This PDA has now rebooted in emergency mode with one directive to keep you alive on an alien world. Please refer to the data bank for detailed survival advice. Good luck. All right. Okay, so let's figure out what we got here. Okay, so left analog stick switches between items, as does the directional buttons. Right analog stick scrolls up and down. Okay. So we got titanium. It makes metal salvage. Titanium ingot. Wait. Does metal salvage make titanium? Or is that the other way around? So we got titanium ingot made from titanium. Okay, so according to according to my friend Storyweaver, metal salvage makes titanium. Oh, okay, so that okay, yeah, that makes sense. Thank you, Storyweaver. Um, so metal salvage makes titanium. Titanium makes titanium ingot. Silicone rubber. Crete vine seed cluster. Also, he's informed me that when I die, um. It just goes back to the last save I had, to whatever items I had when I saved. So I don't lose all my things, I just lose what I... I just lose what I got after I saved. And before I save the next time. So let's, let's say if I save my game, and I pick up, like, quartz, and I die, I go back to everything I had when I last saved, but I don't have the quartz. That's, that's all I lose. So that, that's how it works. So we have bleach, salt deposit, or coral tube sample, sodium hypochlorite bleach sanitizing applications, copper wire, battery, acid mushroom, copper ore. Ah. Standard O2 tank. Fins. First aid kit. Fiber mesh. Fire extinguisher. Titanium. Pipe. Floating air pump. Floating device that pumps air into pipes. Acts as a starting point for a pipe chain. Interesting. Scanner. Spectroscope scanner used to acquire technology blueprints and data on living organisms. Repair tool. Multi-purpose repair tool, functional in all environments. Flashlight. Battery-powered all-environment light source. Survival knife. Standard survival tool, multifunctional flare. Disposable light source useful for distracting certain predators. Habitat builder. Fabricates habitat compartments and appliances from raw materials. Hmm. 
Not so sure I like the sound of whatever the fucking computer thing just told me. Something about some kind of warning. Waterproof locker. Small storage solution that maintains position in the water. Okay, so... Uh, lead, foundation, I compartment, L compartment, T compartment. Okay, so there's a lot of things I can create with this stuff. But I should probably uh, worry about that when I get the chance. As of now. Oh, okay, that's fuel. hell was that? Holy Toledo. Aurora <laughs> suffered orbital pile failure. Cause unknown. Zero human life signs detected. Holy shit. Uh You know, maybe choosing a mode with hunger and thirst wasn't such a good idea if I have no idea what I'm doing. Maybe, perhaps. I mean, I've literally never touched this game before. I'm going to consider this for a bit. Because there's survival and there's freedom. Oh shit, I'm hungry. Oh, oh, fuck me. Hello there. Red, red, uh, red thing behind the stairs, okay. Fa the hell's the fabricator? Oh! Just like in Slumrentia. Storage container. What do we got? We got flare, flare, filtered water, filtered water. Haha! -ha! Nutrient block. Very smart. Very smart. Very uh, nutritional, I guess. Hey, uh, so quick question. Does okay? Yeah. Never mind. My question was answered. Things happen while I'm looking at a menu. The game doesn't. Time does not freeze when I'm looking at a menu. That's very good to know. No, no, no. Oh, oh my god, okay. Okay, L L2 just does it a lot faster. Okay. Uh, uh, Vital signs stabilizing.
Okay, so L2 consumes. Probably was not a good idea for me to accidentally eat both nutrient bars, but you know what? Everyone can learn from their mistakes. That is beautiful and dangerous. Everyone can learn from their mistakes. So, oh, what the fuck? Is that... Is that the lid of... Is that the lid of the capsule I just landed in? Solar power out. Oh, that's not good. Use repair tool. Okay. I need to find a repair tool. Resources, sustenance, personal deployables. All the eggs can sustain me. Equipment, no, tools. I need silicone, rubber, cave sulfur, and titanium. Oh, okay, so this is one of those things that I can, like, that I can do later. So do I just jump in with what I have now? Well, tally-ho! You know, this kind of reminds me of a game I once, um... I can't remember the name of it. Oh, okay, how do I... Okay, so that's how I ascend and, and descend. I can't remember what the name of it was, but there was a, there was a Wii game that I found on the Wii Shop, and you were basically this diver that could go deep underwater, but you could only go so far before you had to, like, collect coins or get points or something to, um... Hey, look, limestone! To go deeper and deeper underwater, and I can't remember what the name of the game was. Ah! Is an essential component of all powered equipment. Your probability of survival has just increased to unlikely plausible ah yes thank you computer my 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 possibility for survival oh shit can I please go any faster please thank you oh my god I nearly fucking drowned <laughs> Oh, if I- okay, thank you. So if I touch bubbles, I get oxygen. That makes sense! Swim without- swim without no, with nothing in my hands, and I swim fast. Okay. And you really are- you really are knowledgeable on this game. I appreciate that. Very much appreciated. I guess you might say, otherwise I would have th thrown myself in the deep end and struggled to stay on the s uh, to stay above the surface. Thank you, I'm here all week. <laughs> okay. Uh, I just need to really get my bearings. Circuitry test failed. Secondary system offline. Radio offline. Destruct signal broadcast failed. Flotation device deployed. Hull integrity is okay. Right. I really am just thrown into the deep end to figure things out for myself, aren't I? Because I don't know if I have any goals right now, other than to survive. Uh, okay, use fabric. Okay, so fabricator. That at least it works. Oh! Okay, so this is where I make titanium. I find metal salvage. And I turn that into titanium. That then... Okay. Oh. I like this. This is very easy to understand. Okay, so let's see what I picked up. Detecting increased local radiation levels, tend trend is consistent with damage to the Aurora's drive core sustained during planetfall. The Aurora suffered orbital hull failure, cause unknown, zero human life signs detected. 
Copper is an essential component of all powered equipment. The probability of survival has just increased to unlikely but plausible. Well, that's better than impossible. It makes sense that copper would be a key component of, of all things electronic, because, you know, um, electricity... Copper is a very good conductor of electricity. Okay, so basically, if, if I got this straight, for right now, I'm just looking for things to kind of fix my, uh, my little pod here. Is that right? Okay. Well, time to hopefully not die. Okay, let's make sure I don't have anything... Okay. If I could not be holding anything in my hand so I can swim faster, that'd be great. How the hell? How do, how do I... I can only switch between two things. <laughs> I shall some save. Oh, circle. Okay. Ah, there we go. Oh yeah, that is faster. Where would I be without you, Cinderace? Much appreciated. <sighs> I assume bad things happen if I go near Aurora. Oh, yeah, th my little PDA did mention something about that, didn't it? Detecting increased local radiation levels trended consistent with damage to the Aurora's drive core. Oh, okay. So going near that is bad. Good to know. Part of me feels like this game, the last build this game has was in December of 2022. I only wonder just how how broken parts of the game may be. Okay. I know I need to not be such a pussy and just dive down, but I really don't want to run out of oxygen and not be able to go to the surface in time. What is that? Hello. You're interesting. You're like a meteorite, but also not. Oh, that is true. Despite uh, what um Ed what Ed said, despite being in water, I can still get dehydrated. Oh God, I can still get dehydrated because this is not this is not fresh water. This is salt water, which you are never never supposed to drink. I mean, God knows what else is in salt water. Is that a t that is not a turtle? What the fuck is? I don't know why my first thought was, hey, it's a turtle. I don't remember turtles having giant, weird, orby. <gasps> hey, look, it's the logo for the game's application. Or whatever, the tiny, weird. Okay. Adorable little fish, you are a lot smaller than I thought you would be. Okay, what do I have? I'm probably going to die, because I very stupidly consumed both water and, bo and both nutrition bar. Okay, so I have copper. I probably should get a good idea of what else I'm supposed to get. Medical kit fabricator. I will also take that. I guess that makes medical kits. Ingredients unknown. Hmm. So, curious question. If I were to have enough material for something, would it still be gray or would it be like colored in to indicate I can make it? 
Oh, okay, so it would be blue. Grab bladder fish to make water. Interesting system. What, what, which one's the bladder fish again? Is it the big bald fish one or is it the tiny one? I'm also gonna move this over here so I can see better. I know for a fir I know for first episode things are moving kind of slow, but I'm still trying to really get my bearings because I know Jack ass all shit about this game. Floater. Uh. What? Oof. What do I do with it? Kind of cute, though. Oh. Caution. Continued degradation of the Aurora's drive core may result in a quantum detonation. Quantum detonation. I do not like the sound of that. Okay, I'm not exactly sure what you're for yet, but, uh, can I, like, you know what, I'm gonna see if I can tuck you away nice and safe. Away from the big bad world. Can I actually? Composed of multiple organisms in symbiosis, life cycle unknown. Well, that's helpful. I can throw it by pressing R2. Really? <laughs> it's a good old game of yeet! Yeah, yeet! That was the most piss-poor throw my character has ever made. <laughs> that, that, was, that, that was not a yeet. That was like dropping an ice cream cone. All right, I'll be here. For those wondering, um, they don't have their they they have their mic muted, but they are informing me of helpful advice through uh, text channel. Okay, I need to look for a bladderfish. It looks like a heart. I need to see what the let's see what the controls are. Jump is triangle. Yeah, that's more like it. Okay, so 
I know that things haven't exactly been going very swiftly for this episode so far, but to be honest, you know, start starting things out like this blind, it, it takes time to adjust. And I have said before, I know pretty much next to nothing about this game. Also, I found out where the uh, floater landed. It sure does live up to its name. I guess you can chill there for now. So yeah, starting out is never always easy. Can I... Thank you. Okay. So, first things first, I need to find the right materials to fix shit. All I've really found so far is copper. Maybe we need to find Todd next. I can't tell if this is a rock. A repair tool, yeah, I'm... Oh, yeah, ah, oh god. You look, ah, you look so weird not having your shells on like this. You look, you look like giant wads of gum. Ugh. <laughs> Textures do not do well in and out of water. Okay, um, okay, need to find shit like, oh, actually, doing it like this might be safer, closer to the surface. Hey, 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 you look familiar. You look like something I could use. Come to me, come to me. Come, come to me. Shit, what's the fucking... I switched out the um, jump and hand use buttons. Jump is now X and use item is now triangle or left trigger. How do I pick up? Why do I also feel worried? Oh, I can't pick it up, okay. What the f- I just see some Something's out there breaching the water. Like a dolphin. That's majestic. Oh. Hello there. Hello you- Down. Down I said. D oh. Okay. Material. Wow. Can you imagine scuba diving in real life and seeing things as beautiful as this? God, that would be some GoPro-worthy shit. Okay. Whoa. If I'm lucky, I may get a GoPro Hero 11 for my for for, for my Christmas. Yes. Haha. -ha! I'm not gonna die of dehydration. Provided I make it. <laughs> I'm sure you're confused what's happening, little buddy. Just don't worry about it and just go with the flow. Like the ocean waves. Now where is that? There it is. One? What do you- what do you mean one? Oh! Okay, that's neat. It lets me know when I have the right materials for a particular object. Cool! Cook bladder fish, no, not that. Water. Yes, yes. Filtered water. Thank you. Whoa! <laughs> that's sick. One of us in the world is bound to live into the year 2573, where we'll probably have fabrication devices. <laughs> Gonna need more than that. First things first, play it safe. Play it safe, play it smart, play it wet. Fun fact about diving into water from very high places. If you actually, um, cross your legs, you'll reduce the impact at which you smack into the water, and instead of getting a painful landing, 
you'll just dive right in. Like a missile. So if you ever find yourself falling off a cliff or a bridge into water, just remember to cross your legs. And your arms. And try not to lose a limb. Yoink! Wait, yoink! Don't worry, I'm sure the thousands of bladderfish out here can reproduce to make more of you. So, I'm sure the ecosystem is not in any imminent danger. Where did you go? There you are. Man, I haven't seen an, a celestial object that close since Don't Escape Four Days in a Wasteland. <laughs> People would think that if the moon were to crash into the earth, it would probably be like a giant bowling ball crashing into the land. But because it's much smaller and it doesn't have much gravity and perhaps n not as much density, or maybe more density, I'm pretty sure it would split apart like a fucking cookie. And then we would all be in danger. I remember there was this, um, this anime movie called Your Name, which was basically about the, this, this girl and this guy who ended up, like, switching bodies every day, and one, I think one was in the past and one was in the future, and the big dramatic event about the movie was this giant comet that was going to crash down because it kept splitting into pieces because it was too close to the earth. And they had to try to work to get everyone else out of the town, or else they would all fucking die. I still remember the sound of when one of the pieces hit the earth. <laughs> you can make a battery with two or one coppers and two mushrooms. Ah, yes! Because like I said, copper is a very good conductor for electricity. Now I'm going to do myself a favor and consume. 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 So, wise move would probably be to have a lot of water on hand, even if my, uh, hydration is fine, just to be prepared. Where, what are you? Can I pick- I can pick- I can pick you up, come here. A peeper, that's what you're called. You are adorable. And you are... What? Where'd you go? There you are. You are... Gary fish. The fuck is a Gary fish? Have I tried exiting the base to the hatch? Isn't that what I've been doing? Hey, 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 you come here. No, please, come back. Damn it. That would have been the quickest retrieval of an essential fish ever. Come to me. Are you even the... No. You're not, a, you're not the right one. Never mind. All right.
Hey, acid mushroom. I got an acid mushroom. Whoop. Okay, I don't have a I don't have a repair tool. Wait. Oh. Protein rich eyeballs, highly nutritious. Gross, but okay. The fabricator coats small organisms while disposing of the skeletal structure, bodily fluids, and internal organs, thus rendering them safe for human consumption. Oh. It is common for those accustomed to synthetic foods to be repulsed by eating an animal carcass. Remember that humans survived this way for millennia. You can too. Okay, I'm gonna... Yeah. So what do I got? Plenty of acid mushrooms. So, okay, so personnel, tools, repair tool. Silicone rubber. Okay. Quantum detonation. I don't like the sound of that. Probably gonna wind up dying. Hey, metal salvage! Just what I'm looking for! Doesn't really tell me the time.
Don't like the sound of quantum detonation, though. Hello. So I do believe I now ha I do believe I now have a reason to worry, as apparently quantum detonation will now occur within two hours. I get the feeling that means I'm definitely within the blast radius. Yeah, yeah. I don't... Do you mean on land or underwater? I'm not certain. I'm, I probably have, but I probably didn't know at the time if it was a forest. Oh wait, that's right. Um, uh, personnel equipment. How the fuck do I... No, not, not that, not that. Resources. Fuck yeah. Deployables. Yeah. Do I already have a standard O2 tank? Fire extinguisher, pipe. Oh, floating air pump. And then we have... So, okay, so... I have four titanium. I can use... I can make one floating air pump and one pipe. But I don't think that would be enough. Oh, wait. It gives... Okay, so it gives me a set of five pipes. If I go to the forest, I find a funny, I find a funny, I find a shiny thing on the kelps. Grab and make silicone. Oh. Um. As for right now, should I be worried about this quantum detonation? Because I feel like that's gonna kill me. Okay. Okay. Good. Hmm. You know what? I, I I will make myself floating air pump and pipes. Never know when those will, those will come in handy. Bada bing, bada boom. I also don't think I'm going to need this fire extinguisher. Not exactly needed underwater. Ah, okay. So the standard is like the first version, and then there's probably like a better version after that. More expensive, but better. Okay. So... Now when you say forest, are you talking about all these different pieces of kelp? Oh boy. Okay. So that's the forest. Whoa. Is <laughs> anything on the kelps for silicone? You're coming with me? C come to me! Oh shit. Up I go, up I go, up I go, whoop! Life on this planet grows in unusually distinct and diverse ecological biomes. Further study recommended. Yeah, sure, once I'm, uh, you know, all good and settled. 
for now, I just need to focus on survival. That'll do her. Okay, yeah, yeah, the hatch. I, I'm, I don't know why, I'm just really used to just going out from the top. That works too. I'm glad to see that my hunger does not go down as fast as my hydration does. That would make things hell. What are you? Come here. Hoopfish? Well, you're interesting. Okay, so... Alright. I... Shiny thing, shiny thing. Very pretty and shiny. Okay, you're not very pretty. Okay, yeah, you go that way. And I'll go this way. You do me. You do you, and I'll do me. And we won't do each other. Probably. That's a beautiful sunset. Yellow thing on the kelps. Okay, alright, alright. Oh, there's the moon. Honestly, um, when it comes to returning to the pod, doing it from the top feels safer so that I at least have a chance to get more air and also return to the top at the same time. Play it safe, baby. Cooked hoopfish. Never eat the antennae. Hmm. What happens if you eat the antennae? I've heard that if you eat the head of a certain of certain fish, it's like a hallucinogen. This fish actually tastes like fish. Dehydrating but keeps well. I would hope it tastes like fish. Probably wise for me to look into look into uh, investing in a flashlight. Come here. You also come here. I guess this is how everyone starts out. Eventually, they start having to make several trips, but once they actually get some good equipment, they'll be just fine. A quantum detonation has occurred in the Aurora's drive... A quantum detonation has occurred in the Aurora's drive core. The reactor will reach a supercritical state in T-10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh my god! <laughs> wow. A, 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 okay. A dramatic incident involving a ship like that hasn't happened since the Titanic. Oh my god. I have expected pieces to start flying all over the place.
fiber mesh, and lead. So this so this suit is useful if I ever wind up going near the ship, right? Okay. Alright, I need to orient myself on what needs to be focused on. Repair tool for one. So let's see. Repair tool. Let's see, let's see what I would need for that. For that, I would need silicone rubber, cave sulfur, and titanium. Silicone rubber. Okay. So that would be from the kelp and the cave, whatever. What's gonna call it? Cave sulfur. I see and I take. Where'd you go? I see and I take. Bladderfish are my new best friend. Oh, God. I don't know if it's completely safe for me to be going near there, considering that giant fucking barracuda looking ass fish. I hope that's only a nighttime predator. Alright, well that's good at least. Eventually, I'm sure I'll have a way to actually fight back, but for now, I should just try not to lose a hand. Or leg. Knife. That's going to take more than just a little bit of scrap metal to fix. <laughs> oh my god. I sure hope there wasn't any lost survivor on that ship. Hello. you Papa needs some silicone. You to me. Yeah. Okay, I get it. So, smaller things like the creep vine are put into my inventory, but things I can actually hold are put into the hot bar. I guess I'll take a little extra just to be safe. Oh shit. Never mind. Hamter's gonna be a little angry if there's not a way to actually stack items. <laughs> I mean, maybe not that angry, maybe a little. Well, at least I got what I need. Let's fabricate some silicone, baby. Silicone rubber. Lubricant. You know, they, they probably could have done away with maybe selecting how many of something you want to make. Lubricant makes better water, huh? Hmm. Alright. I can give that a try. Lubricant is essential in construction of vehicles and power plants. Oh! I didn't take that into consideration until now. Okay, I gotta be careful with what I do. I, okay, so, okay, it at least recharges, that's a good thing. <laughs> I 
Alright. Got plenty of acid mushrooms. What was it I needed again for a battery? I needed... I needed mushroom acid and... Ooh. Now nah, why not? The fabricator draws from available data to provide environment appropriate equipment using locally available materials. For your safety, this setting cannot be overridden. Alright, yeah, sounds good. Battery! Congratulations, survivor. You have exceeded your weekly exercise quotient by 500%. Data indicates that swimming was your favorite activity. Be sure to vary your routine for uniform muscle development. I <laughs> sure, swimming was my favorite activity. Let's, let's put it like that, shall we? <laughs> Sure, absolutely. That's totally why I've spent the last several days swimming. Absolutely. Where the fuck is the battery? Wait. Oh. Hey, hey, guess who has the stuff for a battery now? Uh, resources, electronics, battery! Yeah! A fish that explodes. Oh my god, I cannot imagine something like that existing in real life. We already had the jumping cola, Cactus. But a fish that explodes. Im imagine, imagine a version of pufferfish that literally shoots its spines out as a self-defense. Oh god, no. I would not want to go in the water ever again. <laughs> I mean, I'm already afraid to step into the water for fear of getting stung by a jellyfish, but an exploding pufferfish would be just just on top of that. <laughs> okay, let's turn you into some sweet, sweet, delicious water. Let's see, what else, what else, what else do we got? I have stereos, got stuff for fins. Oh. Oh wait, that's for the power cell, okay. I'm, re I'm really starting to get the hang of this. All I need now is glass, which I get from quartz. See, th the thing I love about games like this is that they follow real life scientific logic. Because quartz does typically... Did you just strafe? You, you, you like, strafe sideways. Like you were a character in a video game. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, I play on PS4. I got this a while back because it was on sale. I was like, you know what? Screw it. It's on sale. I have the money. Why not? No, no, I, see, um, the reason I got this on PS4 was because this was before I had a very powerful PC. I played it smart, and whatever games would take a lot of power, I would just get it on a console. Whatever games my computer would run, I would get it on that. Really playing it safe, playing it smart. I did not equip the fins, did I? I, I, I okay, I, I definitely should. Let me just not drown. <laughs> I 
I'm gonna make an assumption here and say that, uh, there is land on this planet, but it's very, very far away. Because I do not see anything for miles. Except water, water, and oh look, more water. Okay, uh, where the fuck did I put those fins? Okay, this is like one of those things where at least everybody makes one joke about this. It looks like a drop of piss. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's, that's just how my brain sees it. Okay, how the fuck do I... <laughs> oh, that's blueprints. Do I have them equipped automatically? I'm trying to... Oh, wait. Oh, they are equipped. Yes, it looks like a drop of piss. What else is a liquid and is yellow other than lemonade? If you want to say it's a drop of lemonade, that's also better. <laughs> Okay. Reorient time. I need to make... Let's see, I need to make tools. Cave sulfur and titanium. I can get titanium. Cave sulfur. I need to go to a cave and there'll be a little thing on the wall. Alright. Well, there's a lot of caves around here. Oh shit, I all... Okay. I cannot forget to hydrate. You know what? I shall make lubricated water. Or maybe not. Then I shall save the lubricant. I'm also going to put this in here. Oh, they decompose. Alright, good to know. I should probably consume these now. Oh, great. Shit. This was not a good idea. <clears throat> this was far from a good idea. Okay, so I'd, I would just like to ask, if I save my game right now, and I die, am I just going to respawn with my with my hunger and thirst complete, and I just have the items I had before I died? Okay, good. Because, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I actually did not mean to press save yet. But you know what? Whatever. We learn from our mistakes. Oh, that's what it looks like. Looks like a giant unwrapped present. Well, I'm just gonna... I am in desperate need of the hydration. I need to find a bladder fish. Time yesterday. Okay, this is incredibly horrifying. Why did I do this? The horrific sounds of pain. I'm not a fan. <laughs> really not a fan. I'm probably gonna die now. <laughs> okay. If, if this is the game's way of teaching me not to fuck up, I think I've I think I've learned my lesson. Note to self: food spoils. Don't eat food that dehydrates me.
Goodbye, semi-cruel world. I shall return in mere seconds, maybe, possibly, hopefully, perhaps. Oh. There we go. That was incredibly horrifying. Okay, yeah, lesson learned. Don't eat rotten or decomposing food. Are you serious? Did... Are... I fucking had deep... I fucking had filtered water and I didn't even notice. I am such a moron. I could have saved my own ass had I not been so fucking blind. Uh. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. Okay. Let's just find this fucking... Let's find this goddamn cave silver. Let's also pick you guys up. Because you make for some good food. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. You little tail wiggling fucker. Thank you. <laughs> Metal salvage. Oh. Yeah. Give. And also. Give. And most importantly, you know what? I have a few of these. Better than nothing. All right, I shall. I shall return for that. Uh, I shall return for that once I have eaten uh, eaten my foods. Let's also get our titanium. Standard O2 tank, fin, radiation suit, first aid kit. I can make a survival knife. Yeah, why not? Weapons were removed from standard survival blueprints following the Airtank massacre two, okay. on Braxis Prime. The knife remains the only exception. Hey, hey! High capacity, huh? Glass, titanium, and silver ore. Got some things to look forward to. <gasps> Wait. It increased... Oh, that's nice. It increased how much I have now. Sweet. Gone from 45 to 75, baby. And now I can stab fish. Yay. Didn't even press a button that time. <laughs> Good to know it works. Alright, how do I... Oh. Come here, you. You're very pretty and I want to kill you.
That's not something you ever want to say to someone. <laughs> You're very pretty and I want to kill you. <laughs> yeah, that's not something you ever want to say to someone. Hello there. <gasps> What's this? I don't like the sound of that. I'm leaving now. I picked up Quartz in a panic. That somehow worked. That actually... <laughs> wow, okay. Accomplishing things when you don't even mean to. That's life. Glorious. Oh yeah, I should probably consume my foods. Beautiful. All right. Oh, okay, I need one more quartz. Got it. And then I can make a flash. Oh, wait, I still need one more battery. But still. You know, I, off I actually thought that would probably sink deeper into the water, but this ship is probably much bigger than it looks, hence the reason why it doesn't look like it's sinking, because the bottom is already touching the ocean floor. That would probably make the most sense. Apparently it fell on land. Huh. Hey, bladderfish. Hey, blada blada blada. Blada 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 swing. Hey. Hello. Does killing that thing get me anything or does it just kind of die? What's the rock? It did look kind of out of place. How do I... How do, how do I push it? I'm playing Subnutiku. Oh, wait, 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 wait. It's, it's moving. Oh, oh, cool. What the hell is that? I think that's the bomb fish you were talking about. Great. I feel like there's valuables in there, but I'm definitely not wanting to risk going in there. Oh, wait, hang on. Oh, so you're telling me that the bombfish is guarding something precious. 